So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys, I showcase to you how you get the rotten crystal sword. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this sword, although it ain't my kind of thing, I know it's definitely for somebody out there. Why I'm bringing you today's video. So, the rotten crystal sword. Let's firstly check out its stats and what's required to actually use it. So you need 13 in strength, 10 in dexterity and 15 in the intelligence. Now it causes slight scarlet rot buildup, as you can see right there, passive effects, which is all it really offers. I mean, there's nothing fancy about this thing. I mean, it, it, it spins, it spins, but there's nothing, no special effects to it. Nothing like that, guys. I mean, it's, I mean, I guess if you got like a, a, a Scarlet Rot build, maybe, uh, this could work for you. I'm just not sure. Um, but it definitely ain't one for me. That's that's for certain. Now, where this is obtained. So you have to come up to the, the very top of the map. So you need to get access to the Halig Tree area. This area right here. So firstly, guys, I will have a guide in the video description as how you use a port from this area, uh, which brings you up here. And I've also, guys, as well, got a guide, which I'll link in the video description, of unlocking all grace points because this place is confusing as heck to navigate. But with that guide, you'll unlock all grace points. And because I've got quite a few guys coming from this particular area, because there's some decent things here, um, I'll obviously just start the guide from said grace points and you can just go back to that one video. But yeah, this one, you need to come to the inner wall grace point, which is right here, guys. But again, like I said, this is kind of end game. It actually is end game. It is end game. So players will not, to, people will not to get up here. Uh, so the hidden path to Halig Tree. Yes, you need to get the Halig Tree medallion. One half comes from a vendor uh, from down here, hiding in a basket, sitting uh, about there. You have to punch the basket. Use your fist, guys. Don't use a weapon. Clear his dialogue. Exhaust his dialogue. He will give you the other half. And then you guys, you gotta come up to this place up here, Castle Soul. Uh, a boss here called Commander Noel. Kill him, he'll give you the other half. You can then guys, go back down to the Grand Lift of Road. Uh, press right or left on your D-pad. And you'll be able to access this area here. And you just wanna travel north guys. Travel north, and like I said, the guide will be in the video description. It's, actually, it's, it's very easy, I'm not even gonna lie. You basically have to just light four, four candles really, in this area. But yeah, you'll see that guide anyway. But yes, people, so from this actual grace point right here, you'll see on the screen now how you get this, well, this rotten crystal sword. And there we have it, guys. If it's one for you, I hope it helps you out. If it does, leave leaving a like, it really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more out of ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.